What is up everyone? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about how to get 100 subscribers on YouTube. Yes. So if you're thinking of starting a channel or you just started a channel or you had a channel or you don't know, it's not picking up traction and anything of that sort. Well, lucky for you, I'm here. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to get 100 subscribers within 30 days actually in 2020. So I'm going to be making a series of tutorials on how to grow on YouTube. I feel like my channel has done fairly well within a year. Uh, I, I do want to show like all the different tips and tricks I have personally done. I want to share them with you guys so you can essentially utilize them and put them towards your own like, goals and whatnot and grow your channel from there. So we're going to start off with the 100 subscriber one. This is going to be somewhat basic. It's going to give you like the necessary skills just to get that first base volume of subscribers and essentially utilize that and grow from there. So let's get right into this. Uh, as you can see, my channel does have 4,500 subs. I am aiming to like bypass that by the end of the year to like my goal is at least like 10k but who knows i might fall fall a little short based on the amount of subs i'm getting but i am trying to increase that significantly um so pulling back uh the first thing i want to recommend you guys doing is getting something called tubebuddy this is a free and simple easy to use platform which it does have some uh premium subscription portions but i want you to get the free version first the reason I will mention this to you, if you're a brand new YouTuber and you have absolutely no idea what you're doing, you need to really get this, this tool because it helps you build up your SEO. It tells you how to publish good videos. It tells you what you need to do and how you need to grow on YouTube. And I'm going to be using the new Creator Studio because I have to. I don't really have a choice. Um, and I'm going to show you what I mean by this. And I'm going to show it over here. So I'm going to pick a I'm trying to think of which video to pick to show you guys. Let's see. Let's I will go with this video, this DoorDash video, because I'm trying to go with something with a lot of views and a lot of traction to show you what I exactly mean. Once you have this tube install, uh, this tool installed, you'll see it on the top right and you'll see it over here as well. It says TubeBuddy has access to this site. I gave it access, obviously. Um, it does a lot of different like analytics on your video. It looks at your competitors. It looks at the whole market on what is happening on YouTube within your niches. Now, once you have TubeBuddy, um, I'm going to show you the main feature of what I wanted to show you is the tags. A lot of people do not focus on tags. The, your three things are title, that's huge. Your description, the second biggest thing, and then tags, which is, I feel like, one of the crucialest thing, which I have seen people just completely ignore this. TubeBuddy will literally tell you which tags to use and which tags to ignore. And I personally love that about it. It even gives you a ranking. The green ones are TubeBuddy's rankings. The blue is vidIQ. And I will make another video on that. I feel like vidIQ is a little bit more, I believe, complex in my opinion. TubeBuddy is easier to use. Um, as you can see, like it shows you the tags, it shows you all the different, like what my ranking is. And as you can see for this specific video and these tags, I'm ranked number one, meaning what, it'll be my first videos. Like literally if they search that, I will be the number one person is show, I show up and they will click onto my video. And there's a lot of factors into this. My thumbnail, my actual video itself, it has high quality content that people are actually watching and liking and commenting on and engaging, high CTR, high impressions. All those things obviously matter and come into play. And um, I'm just gonna give a very quick overview because I have another video on how TubeBuddy works and I will leave a link for that in the description for you guys to check out. I don't wanna go too in depth on how to utilize TubeBuddy, but this is a tool I would highly recommend you read up on, whether it's my video or other people, people such as Brian G. Johnson and Nick Cannon. There's a lot of people who are extremely knowledgeable about this. So this is where I wanted to show you the platform. It shows you like I'm using this currently, this keyword, and I got 571 views because of this. Now, if you have TubeBuddy and you're looking, you're probably like, oh, why does this person have more than five tags than me? I do have the premium version. Once this starts working for you and your channel starts going up, I would recommend going for the premium version. Um, it's, it's not that much money. And I just feel like it's definitely worth it because it helps your channel grow. It shows you all those different keywords. But a cool trick of you just utilizing the, the top five if you're obviously using the free version, if you click on the three dots, it pop populates like more categories that you can use. And I feel like it gives you ends up giving you a lot more than you can already have. So I would highly recommend just going with the free version, playing with, the, playing with that. Once you get the hang of it and your channel starts growing, utilizing that and essentially going from there. 
So that was number one, I believe. Uh, the number two way that I wanted to talk about is, I do want to pull back from here, is these social media sites such as Reddit and Facebook. Um, even TikTok and Instagram, but I'm explicitly going to be talking about Reddit and Facebook that I have personally used and utilized. Reddit was huge for me. Definitely make a Reddit account and join a lot of these subreddits that I will link in the description below, such as small YT channel, NewTubers, um, there's like a lot of different ones over here. There's new tuber. Uh, there's one with an S <laughs> there's, I believe, uh, newbies or so, so, there's a lot of different YouTube subreddits here in which I would highly recommend not going in and just saying, please subscribe or sub for sub. Please don't do that. One, you may get banned Two, you will not get true sub the person who will subscribe to you. He or she will never watch your videos. So what's the point? You want people who will watch your videos. YouTube wants people, if they show your video to, let's say, a subscriber who was a sub for sub, and he or she sees it and passes by, that's hurting your CTR, that's hurting your views, that's hurting your promotion from YouTube. They will not push it. They will say, hey, this person's video is irrelevant. Maybe his or her thumbnail sucks. Maybe it's just not interesting enough. Let's not push it. YouTube's main goal is to make money, and they will do that with however they can, and they will use these algorithms in that way. They will push a creator if they think he or she is worth being pushed for based on what the algorithm says. Because again, if they push it, that creator gets famous, they get money out of that. That's the whole point. They want these clean, good creators and you doing sub for sub is not going to help you. So I definitely plead with you to not do that. But like I said, Reddit is a huge tool. Ask people for tips, ask people for feedback, tell them to check out your channel. If they like it, they will subscribe. You don't have to tell them that. So definitely utilize Reddit. I've used it like crazy. It helped me. I literally grew a lot from there. I was able to, when I got to the point where I am now, I was able to help people, which still helps you in the end because people look at you like, hey, this person technically helps the community out. Let's help him back by subscribing to his channel or just like, you know, giving, liking that specific video that he's talking about or doing something like that. So I would highly recommend you going down this route. Uh, the second piece of part two of my top three ways is the... Uh, Facebook as well. So this one, I'm using this one as an example, the solo traveler page. I, obviously, I don't have a travel channel, but I want to show you over here how I just searched the word YouTube and you can see people, they shared their stories. This is like where you connect with a community and people shared their like YouTube channel, like, hey, check out my YouTube channel. And look, they're getting 300 likes, 400 likes. And these people are getting subscribers. These people are getting like views and all these other things, likes, comments, you know, interaction. YouTube loves that, especially that it's coming from like a different source. And YouTube really does like this. And you can see like their channel will get those views. They will get those subs and it could possibly even make it into a trending slash viral video. So again, don't go in and like spam them just be like hey i'm a brand new tra let's say again you're in travel let's say hey i'm a brand new travel blogger slash blogger you know i make youtube videos here's one of my travel tips this is what i'm currently doing this is where i'm currently going share your progress with them share what you're currently doing don't just spam videos there comment other people's like travels like someone's in bali be like yo that's an amazing place let's link up i want to come there one day tell me how you did this uh are you a budget traveler maybe that's maybe that's what your channel is about and you show like hey i'm a budget traveler as well can you give me some tips on what to do and then you utilize those tips like again you made a friend slash connection with this person and when you end up posting there people won't be as hostile because no one likes someone spamming it. Like, imagine it yourself. You had a community and people just spamming there. You wouldn't like that either. And same with here. These are human beings. You always have to remember that. <laughs> people do want to be able to, like, go in and, like, interact with people and, you know, like, have a connection there. And then they will, if they think you're good and genuine, they will tell you. And if you kind of suck, they will tell you. And then you can take that as a good feedback and criticism and improve your channel. Um, so definitely try those the, those two methods that I personally just mentioned to you right now. Oh, I apologize for that. That I just mentioned to you right now. The third way I would highly recommend is YouTube itself. Yes, you were probably not expecting that at all. Um, <laughs> what I mean by this is going to channels that are within your niche, checking them out and making a community out of there. So let's say you find subscribers or channels that are within the zero to probably 5,000 or less subscriber range. Go in there, subscribe to their channel and put all notifications. 
Go to their channels, make friends with them, talk to them, comment on every single one of their videos, not BS comments like sub for sub, please check me out, please don't do that. YouTube will now ban you for that. YouTube has it explicitly in their community guidelines that you cannot be doing that anymore. So yeah, that's over. <laughs> you guys definitely can't be doing this any longer. So what you need to do is you go there, watch their video, actually comment a legitimate, thoughtful, insightful comment that saying like, hey, you know, this was a very interesting video. I think X, Y, Z, like, let's say this one, upcoming Illuminati prediction. Let's say you're into this and you, that's what you do. You tell like uh, Mo of Man, like you tell him like, hey, you know, this was a pretty legitimate video. I agree, but I disagree on these points, you know, then have a discussion. And when people see that, you will see like the, the, the YouTube creator, if they obviously interact with their you know uh, commenters like responding to you and people will see that and they'll check your channel out and if they check your channel they'll be like oh you know what this person's good let me subscribe to his or her channel like this does happen and you do need to keep that in mind that these things will help you grow your channel now if you were watching this video thinking this was a get 100 quick subscriber tip that is not working if you want that go buy subscribers <laughs> either go buy subscribers or go do sub for sub somewhere stupid it is just not gonna help it's not gonna work for you i would recommend you trying these three methods that i've mentioned tubebuddy i will leave a link for that in the description uh reddit i will leave subreddits that i've personally subscribed to that have helped me grow and youtube itself i'm not going to leave a link for that uh facebook one i can't leave groups i would just say find it because i can't give a niche i don't know what your guys's niches is so that's like something on you just go find it and yeah so those three ways should definitely help you get a hundred subscriber within 30 days i highly recommend you giving that a shot it shouldn't be that hard because to me a hundred is not that hard to get i have seen people that struggle with like over a year to get a hundred subscriber trust me if you follow these methods and it, it requires work it does require work and effort if you follow these methods that i have mentioned i guarantee you you will be able to reach 100 subscriber within 30 days if not faster um so yeah <laughs> definitely go check those tr tips and tricks out that i mentioned um i will make another video a follow-up video for a thousand subscribers that will be a little bit more in depth and in detail and we'll go from there uh so overall if you guys like this video please like the well, yeah like the video <laughs> helps with the youtube algorithm if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and if you have any comments questions or concerns let me know in the comment section below other than that, FNH out. Peace.